Well, hello there everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and another video. This video is gonna be a little bit different today for a few reasons. One, because I'm here. <laughs> I'm in it. <laughs> and we also have some sun and it's winter in Ireland, which we never usually get. So trying to make most of it's that. It's absolutely delightful. It's a great day to be fair. And the third reason is because we are using this bad boy. Let me just take it out so I can show you. Camera of choice for today. So if you didn't already know, this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. Um, it's obviously an instant camera. Chris actually got me this for my birthday. Great birthday present, thanks. No problem. <laughs> um, but we're gonna give it a go in this video today and try it out, try and take some photos with it. We are back in Portaferry, which we have been to before. Um, we actually really love this little uh, seaside village. So we thought it would be a great place to try out this camera. We've got one packet of film, so that's 10 photos. We'll maybe do five each. Um, and yeah, see if we can get a little collection of photos um, of the area. So let's do it. Perfect day for it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay, so I committed to my first shot, which is literally what you're seeing behind me, minus the ferry itself. Um, just thought it was kind of cool, we've got the sun coming in from the left. I know it might be a little bit of a struggle for this little camera. Um, the other thing about this camera is that it is an instant camera, but it's also kind of a digital camera too, because it can store some photos, so you don't instantly have to print them, which I do like and I don't like. It, it's I like the idea of instant um, photography because whenever you take the photo, it's complete. It, it comes out and it's done. Um, but the good thing about being able to select which ones you print is that you get more for your money, essentially. If you buy a packet of film, you're going to print the best ones out of it instead of wasting a load that end up being under or overexposed. You can also slightly adjust the exposure compensation before you print. So if you, if you think it looks underexposed, you can just adjust it a little bit, which is nice might use that with that photo because the camera is doing its thing and I'm deciding uh, it looks a little bit underexposed but because this is a little challenge I'm not going to retake it a hundred times I'm just going to stick with it and maybe adjust it slightly before I print which is kind of cool so onwards to more photos Okay, um, being winter, the sun sets extremely quick. So if you've been trying to rush around, and Christina with her um, broken toe. I have a broken toe. Definitely slows down the process. <laughs> but we have took a few like you would have seen already. Um, but I came across this scene with this canoe trail sign, which is... It's not had the best of days. It's hanging on for dear life. There was a seagull on that other um, light post over there, but it's now gone, unfortunately. But I did take the photo 
uh, it's very hard with these cameras to expose and get like the colours in the background as well as it getting the foreground bright enough. Um, but probably my favourite one so far, composition wise I think. Um, but yeah, it's fun though. They're just fun cameras to use and getting to see your photo just come out and develop right in front of you is just so satisfying. I got super excited when I saw this little blue boat because we've seen this boat before. It was here sure the last time we were here. But I'm pretty sure it said Port of Ferry on it the last time. It doesn't say that now, which I'm disappointed about. But I wanted to try and incorporate it anyway. Um, it's just a really cute boat with some other boats in the background or at least maybe blur past that one and have it in the foreground. Um, it looks... Yeah, it might, it might work. It's so hard to tell with the exposure on this. It's got such limited abilities that it's really hard to tell whether things are gonna turn out right or not. But we'll, we'll go with it anyway. I think it might look cool. Is that your last photo? Is it? Or you got one more? I'm not sure, maybe it is, <laughs> maybe. Some stunts. <laughs> New gloves. Yeah. They work under all required. It's absolutely freezing now. Um, I just took my final shot and I should have waited about five seconds more because <laughs> there's a, a seagull just flying through and that would have been perfect. This actually might be one of my favourite shots, if not my favourite from the day. Um, there is a danger strong water current sign right behind Christina. And we have the little pier with the life ring and the lights are now turned on because it's dark but it's not that dark so we still have a gradient in the sky which looks really nice and hopefully it prints out as nice as it looks on the screen because i must say that's exposed pretty perfectly i think <laughs> good um, job that is my last shot though so you've got one more do i or one i think oh, no we need to do the maths here maybe yeah you've got one or two but i'm done so get to it. So, totally forgot about that. <laughs> totally forgot this camera has a flash that you can use. Um, but what do you do? It just means we'll have to maybe do another part to this or something, which could be fun. <gasps> wow, it's a lot of birds. So, I finished off my photos with this final photo here of the what are these called? Uh, ladders ladder. to the water. <laughs> ladder going into the water. Um, shout out to Chris for actually pointing out that. It looks bit of a tip so there. good. Um, but yeah, it does look good actually because the flash actually went off on that the one. So. The flash went off and then also we have this light up here which is actually acting almost like a softbox. Look yeah. at the light. Looks pretty good so I'm excited to get those printed. Okay, so yeah, definitely time to go and get something to eat or a coffee or something. That was fun though. I definitely think we should do this again in a different scenario and uh, now that we know we can use the flash and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, Agreed. Yeah, but I mean, what a delightful evening that was. Yeah. Happy with that. We'll probably never get that again. No. <laughs>